Cité Mémoire is an urban parcours. There are 23 sites of giant projections all over the old Montreal, the historical part of the city in Montreal. We chose to do a parcours because we wanted something that we didn't have and something actually that no other cities have right now to rediscover our beautiful city. We chose different moments of the history of Montreal. It's, it was important that those moments were defining moments. Sometimes it's, it's people that we heard about. It's a goal! Richard scores! Sometimes we talk about people that, that has been famous at their time, but we forgot about them. One is Joe Beef. One of the famous restaurants of Montreal is called Joe Beef. But Joe Beef, it's much more than just a restaurant. Joe Beef was a character having this tavern uh, where rich people were going to eat. And every night at the, at the closure of his tavern, uh, Joe Beef and his employees were going in the streets of Montreal giving some food to the poor people. When he died, there was this incredible uh, demonstration of love. Everybody went to the funeral procession. Will you look at that? Montrealers from all walks of life have come out to bid me farewell. They've come by the thousands. Poor people, rich people. Sailors and merchants. Uh, prostitutes, uh, uh, religious people. And children. Lots of children. I was a simple innkeeper. My nickname was Joe Beef. My real name was Charles McKiernan. For the first time in Montreal, there was an incredibly broad group of people that were not supposed to be together on the street, but for Joe Beef, they were together. So this is one of the 23 moments of Cité Mémoire. Every tableau is about five to six minutes. And by walking from a tableau to another tableau, you can enjoy the old Montreal in itself because it's a beautiful part of the city and it's got a lot of history. And the project's going to be there for a few years. It's there all year long. It closes only one month a year in April. And of course, we have 16 pieces of urban furniture uh, uh, all over the old Montreal telling you where you are. All the little houses are different scenes. And it's all linked with your cellular phone. Uh, any kind of cellular phone, you download an application, free application. So your phone is guiding you. You see giant characters on the big screen, but their voice and the music is on the cellular phone. More women are being employed everywhere and they are being paid even less than before. And much less than men. So there's something very spectacular with, with the projection, but there's something as well quite intimate. It's a bit like those giant characters, their memory, their soul, is, are still living in the bricks and the stone of the wall, and they go out of the wall to talk to you. We can never be seen together again. No. Some scenes are more serious, some are more poetic, some are more spectacular. So each scene has its own identity. Another scene called The River, the creation of the world, based on the First Nation legend. The world was, at the beginning, it was only water. That's what the First Nation says. In the prehistoric time, Montreal was covered by this huge ocean. Slowly, the ocean transformed itself into a great river, Saint Laurent River. Montreal is an island. It's surrounded by this beautiful river. Montreal was founded on a territory that was First Nation territory. So this is expressing all the blood of the First Nation. In Montreal, we have two national sports. Uh, first one, which is hockey. A record crowd of 12,744 fans at the Montreal Forum. And our other national sport is, of course, moving. Every 1st of July, a lot of people are moving 
And there's this story with Maurice Richard, an incredible player in the 40s, 50s, who was moving his brother-in-law. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready to watch another epic battle between Montrealers and moving day. Here comes Maurice Richard and his wife Lucille. Maurice took a piano by himself on his shoulder. The same very night he was called to play hockey. And he said to his wife, Don't tell me you want me to play tonight. Got it! I told him I was helping your family move. He says that he needs you. But he went anyway, and that might. And he scores! Five goals and three assists for Richard. A new NHL record. You know, for a lot of people, uh, history is like an uh, old dusty book that we don't want to, to open because it's boring, you know. And it's not true. Assistant. History is, is full of interesting things that can talk to us nowadays. So it's just a question, how can we present history in such a way that people will look at it, will be amazed, will be uh, entertained, and uh, will go back to their own town and say, oh, Maurice Richard, who's Maurice Richard? And we'll do some research on Maurice Richard. So this is just the beginning. People on the streets just pass by her and just stopping and their eyes are, are getting wider. And I say to myself at that point, yes, there's a future for poetry. I'm proud of it. I think, I think it's great. It's a gift that we give this um, love poem to the city of Montreal. Bon 375e anniversaire de Montréal.